Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to you to this exciting one-on-one -on -one conversation with Ali Riza Asman, CHRO Turkcell on the topic, Hiring Beyond Borders, Building a Global Workforce. We live in an increasingly borderless world. The pandemic in fact added more to diminishing more such barriers at the workplace. Broad penetration of high-speed internet has peeled away the barriers of time, distance, and even language to create a global forum for the exchange of ideas and information. Instrumented, interconnected intelligence systems seamlessly link organizations from every part of the world today. As businesses across the world adopt the hub and spoke model, the benefits for attracting and retaining talent are clear now. The pandemic has given organizations the opportunity to tap into a global workforce. Today, work can be easily performed across various cultures, geographies, and time zones. In this interesting one-on-one -on -one conversation, Ali Rizasman, CHRO Turkcell, will share his views on how organizations can go about building a global workforce and how Turkcell is focusing on attracting the best talent to build a global workforce for the future. Welcome, Ali. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are looking forward to some great insights from you. Thank you. Great. So without any further ado, let's dive jump into the conversation now. So Ali, the world of the future is not the world of capitalism. It is the world of talentism. Organizations have acknowledged more so after the COVID-19 that the world of work is driven by employees and not just business. In the current context of work, how difficult does it seem to acquire, train, and retain good talent, according to you? Well, maybe it has become a cliche to start with the sentence, COVID-19 has changed everything. Well, it has changed everything. It changed our life. It changed way of doing things. Uh, it changed our perception and perspective. In fact, it has not changed the rules of the games, but the game itself. Uh, this is more than a change, actually. I don't know how to describe it, this new situation. Maybe we should call it like a shift. Uh, maybe we should look at the semantic of these words, change and, and, and shift. Um, well, when we look at the last two years, a lot of things have you know, changed in our lives. And I don't know how to, how to really describe it. Maybe shit is going to be the perfect word for this one. What I'm trying to say here is that expectation of business world have shifted. Employees' expectations shifted. Um, and um, this affected the employer's perception. Uh, before employer was setting the rules, but after pandemic, employees started determining the rules um, because they are more demanding because um, as it stated, uh, I think it was the Forbes magazine, human talent is increasingly seen as more es essential to today's business world than capital. So um, what even though the last 10 years, IT technology has made it possible to work, do the job for, from distance. Employers, managers, teachers were reluctant to let their employees or students to complete their task operation out of the office or classes. While my generation called X generation would remember the, the way of looking at staying home and trying to complete the task giving you the day before by the boss you know, when you feel a little poorly at home. Um, but to both and we were even satisfied with the work has done out of the office, something uh, still would make us uncomfortable when we didn't go to um, a workplace. But, but this, this perception for employees and employers have been changed. This is a big shift actually, because our life has shifted from uh, physical to digital and forward thinking companies are recognizing the value of their employee and the cost of law retention uh, with the with the digitalization um, in this context um, the business world should be talent led together with the pandemic the increasing power and dramatic impact of digitalization um, had to uh, ha had led to a great change and transformation every area of uh, life and, and and the business. Well, who could see that everything will change so quickly and we will start living in a totally different world? Well, um, in this rapid and radical transformation, companies who are talent-led are distinguished from others. 
it is obvious that transformation from employer led to employee led bring its own challenges, but it's fair to say that the companies like Tuxel, uh, who already has the employee led perspective, had gone through smooth transition in this new era uh, with regards to acquiring, uh, training, and retaining talents. Um, as we took sell, took sell HR, we listen to our employees and, and, and ensure that the employee experience is managed in the best possible way, um, all processes in line with the expectation, needs, and well, absolutely following the uh, interna international developments. Uh, I can say that we adopted the fundamental changes in acquiring uh, developing and retaining talent through our talent-oriented HR systems. Uh, we integrate um, talents, uh, uh, performance, uh, career management in accordance with the needs of our, employ uh, our employees. Thanks, Ali. Those are some great points. I do agree with you that this has been one of the biggest shift, as you very rightly call it, that the world of work has experienced in the past two years, especially. And we have indeed moved from a business-led market to a talent-led market. It is an employee's market. They are the ones who are actually determining the kind of changes, the way they want to work, where they want to work, and how work should look like for them going forward. So organizations, and you gave some great examples of how Tuxel is moving forward in that direction of creating those kind of experiences for retaining the best talent that they can be. So thank you so much for sharing that. Moving on to our next question, Ali. Uh, studies estimate that opening borders to free up talent would result in a $78 trillion increase in global GDP. Labor is the world's most valuable commodity. Yet with the strict immigration regulation, most of it goes to waste. So how do you see this trend changing as hybrid work gets more momentum from both employers and employees? Well, it's a very good question, also a hard question. I'll try to answer it this way. Well, talent is the most valuable commodity and the expectation of uh, talents have recently been changing and the um, incredible, incredible pace. I think 89, according to Boston Castleton, uh, 89 of work, 89% of the workers expect to be able to work from home after pandemic, in, even pandemic is over. That, 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 is going, that is going to continue absolutely. By um, closely monitoring the employee needs and trends, um, let's start from Tuxel. Tuxel have identified the needs of its employees and have adopted its working model years ago. We had the years, many years ago, we start uh, um, giving one day off and working a long distance. It was possible that Tuxel, even before pandemic. Um, Tuxel employees have the opportunity to determine their own working hours, and to work uh, wherever um, they, they want. Uh, on every aspect, um, this working model is based on the ground of trust. Trust the employee, trust the employer, trust the colleague, and trust the manager. If you have that trust, we can mention the creation of value. This, um, this creates value to, uh, to employ and retain committed talents with the high motivation. Um, at the beginning, managers were so sure about that we would go back to offices 100%. But now almost everyone started believing that the working model will continue to be at the center of business world in, uh, in coming, coming times, coming periods. Due to removal of the boundaries in business life with the remote working, we will able to acquire talent from anywhere in the world, such as uh, freelance and project-based jobs. Uh, this way, uh, the talent pool will expand and the talents will have the opportunity to experience uh, new opportunities. And I, 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 I try to um, picture this this way. What makes this very possible uh, is that changing the job is very easy as it is changing your email address. Absolutely. I think that's a great point that you made. And uh, the borders no longer exist when it comes to talent. Yes. It's a huge, huge global workforce to tap into. And what you very rightly said is about having trust. 
if you have trust in your employees, it doesn't really matter which part of the world they're working from, how they're working. You need to trust that they are working for the best interest of the organization and the organization is for working for the best interest of its employees. So that kind of, you know, gives organizations like Tuxel an opportunity to tap into a larger talent pool and create opportunities worldwide for people. So some great thoughts there. Thank you so much, Ali. Uh, so Ali, what according to you is going to be the biggest one biggest challenge and one biggest opportunity as organizations begin to source global talent in times which are uncertain and full of risks while the talent pool is huge but what could be that one challenge that you foresee and what could be a great opportunity well do you think that the talent pool is huge i'm not sure about that first of all um, the biggest challenge is the shortage of competent workforce for the tech companies i believe uh, the number of online trade companies have tremendously increased. And uh, I can give an example from Turkey. Uh, it was around 68,000 companies uh, were doing the A trade, but now it's almost 365,000 companies. And worldwide, it's exponentially increasing. So uh, talent loss is one of the biggest challenges. And at the same time, the biggest opportunity for the organization. If one can turn uh, this great attrition to uh, attrition into attraction. Um, now more than ever, people um, start prioritizing purpose of um, uh, purpose of, over money. Still money is a, a, a hygienic you know, uh, uh, thing for, for, for the workers, but they start uh, looking and they start seeking for meaningful work that creates a positive impact on society, on their life and they, they, they blood. Uh, employees, expects their job to bring a significant sense of purpose to their lives, as it um, stated by, I think, by, by McKenzie um, uh, article. Um, since employees are looking for meaningful, meaningful work due to the effect of pandemic, they no longer want to give their whole life to work. Now they want to spend time on meaningful things. Um, as a two cell, I, if I have to mention, to meet these needs of employees, uh, we create the meaning that employees are looking, uh, seeking with, uh, seek with the company's people-oriented mission and vision. Uh, we try to understand the moods of employees to support employee uh, well-being. Uh, we support our employees in their uh, career journeys, I think. I think that is a great point here. Yes, there is a war for talent across the globe and uh, organizations yeah. have to win this war for talent, have to create work which is meaningful. As you rightly said, the priorities of employees have changed especially in the past two years. So organizations have to manage that. The opportunity there is to create meaningful work and then to offer it to employees. And obviously the challenge remains that the war for talent is on and there is a constant fight going on between employers to grab the best talent for themselves. So thanks for sharing that, Ali. So Ali, as employers acknowledge that they can now source the best of talent from anywhere, how is this going to impact the talent management policies and processes, uh, especially with the rise of temporary talent? Well, the pandemic has that the companies do move beyond location-based talent pools. Um, as Tuxel, uh, our motto is, with you there, Tuxel is everywhere, or wherever you are, Tuxel is there, something like this, maybe I can translate that. Uh, this included both uh, permanent and temporary employees. For years, uh, temporary labor has been vital to the many organization, organizations' overall talent strategy. When the companies can fill the, a permanent role quickly, so they might staff temporary workers to get the work done uh, in a short term. Uh, at Tuxel, according to the requirement of organization, we try to benefit from different working models, mostly through permanent roles, but also the, um, through the temporary part-time roles. Uh, other than those with flex sourcing project management mechanism, employees can apply for different projects on different functions to use and improve different competencies of themselves. And especially this generation are expecting from the companies to give them opportunity to develop their, their talents. Uh, I think, uh, since the uh, borders are not, uh, not the issue anymore, people are going to be able to work uh, in different countries. They will try to experience the same thing at the same time, and they, they will try to experience a different culture at the same time. 
So probably they are going to be working in the, in the two, three companies at the same time. That, that's going to be very, very common things we will see uh, uh, in the uh, near future. Yeah, I agree, Ali, actually, with the flexible options that companies are giving out to the talent because they want talent to work for them, but the talent also wants that flexibility of work, working on multiple projects at the same time. So organizations will have to rethink a lot of their policies and practices about rewards, about comp and ben, performance management, how do they measure productivity for the talent for a pool like this. These are going to be very important aspects for organizations going forward as they you know uh, hire and want to retain global talent. So thanks for sharing that. Uh, coming to our final question for this interview, uh, Ali, what are some of the initiatives and programs that Turkcell is focusing on to attract the best talent to build a global workforce for the future? Um, well, best part. Uh, as Turkcell, we acknowledge that uh, to reveal the 100% of the potential of talent, creating the best environment is crucial. That to, to acquiring that, that talent to your company uh, depends on how, what kind of environment you create for, for the employees. To attract the best talent and build a truly global workforce for the future, uh, we give uh, importance to uh, digital employee experience as well as physical experience. We believe creating unique and great digital employee experience will help to build a global workforce in, in, in the future. Um, therefore, we, we redesigning all our HR processes according to the flexible working model, starting from attraction to of boarding. Uh, to illustrate this with an example, uh, we transfer all our HR processes to digital platforms. Uh, we call it two cell life. There's an application you can you can do everything on, on online by yourself without getting any help from or uh, you know any any from from the company. Um, Besides the importance of digitalization, we acknowledge constantly obtaining employee well-being in, the, in, in its dimension, uh, physical, physical, psychological, social, and financial. Absolutely, to achieve that, uh, we have uh, different initiatives. New office designed to create a productive physical environment, um, health management support for uh, uh, psychological well-being, or uh, internal activities for socialization, and absolutely competitive wage policy for financial well-being. Uh, I think that's all that, that uh, these are, have to be done by the companies to keep the talents and, uh, um, for the company for, for, them, for themselves. Absolutely agree with you. I think we are uh, organizations of uh, if they want to remain relevant and want to prepare themselves for the future, they have to take care of the entire employee life cycle, as you mentioned, from the hire to the retire stage. What kind of experience are you creating for them, be it in the physical space or being in the remote world? Technology, as you very rightly said, this is going to play a very, very huge role in this entire. It has played a huge role in the transformation and in the future also it will play a, a big, big role in ensuring that organizations are creating those kind of the experiences for the employees are developing their talent for the future, are providing them the best tools and collaboration tools that could be needed for them to bring their best selves to work. So thanks for sharing that. Any other thoughts and inputs you'd like to conclude with, Ali? Maybe, maybe I should say that uh, after pandemic, we start um, working online and uh, especially the young generation start taking their classes online. Um, that became new behavior of, of human. Yeah. that became the new behave, the new approach of working of this generation. When they come to the door of your company, when uh, you are not, uh, you, are, you are trying to get the potential, high potential uh, workers to your company, but they are not uh, telling you that, uh, you know, um, uh, they are not accepting the job you offer them directly. So they like, they're demanding more and more because they, uh, the first thing they are asking, if you have a flexible working, online working and remote working. This is the something new we have to uh, meet uh, of new, new Z generation, I think. Yes, 
I think yes, the uh, workplace of the future is going to be borderless, as we rightly said. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it will be talent-led. Your employees will determine how they want to work, where they want to work, and what kind of work they want to do. So organizations who can create those experiences can tap into a global workforce, can bring the best talent home, and they have to reimagine their practices and policies to manage a talent pool that is global in nature and which demands flexibility and career growth at the same time. So on that note uh, Ali thank you so much for joining us for this conversation there were those were some incredible insights I'm sure our audience today has a lot of learnings to take away and apply in their own organizations so the future of work as we very rightly said is going to be led by talent is going to be led by employees there's a global workforce there for organizations to tap into but they need to ensure that they stay relevant by creating the right policies and processes for that on that note thank you so much everyone for joining us for this session coming up next is a session of transforming learning into effective performance improvement by ronald van der molen experienced learning leader see you all there thank you for joining us